Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install FlyMeOS on the U Euphoria. And uh, this installation is a bit tricky as you can't install it through a top recovery as normal ROMs. Because this ROM is still in the development and there are not critical but minor bugs. But most of everything is working like audio, camera, and I guess SIM too, like networking and stuff. It doesn't uh, like support 4G right now as the developer told me or something like that, I don't know really but let's just check it out so as you can see i'm right now in the top recovery and i just fl i felt a flashing and if you're also wondering why am i <laughs> showing you from the start because i basically just reviewed the roms but i just wanted to show you because it's a bit tricky thing just go into the install the just download the custom recovery not any like major things and if you're just uh, like formatted and just thinking why i should like do this much things and just flash of another recovery it's needed so you can't have an option go to uh, install select for the images and search for the recovery where you download i guess i have to share it oops okay share it files uh, there it is okay image as you can see it's a pretty like random number select for the recovery not boot so it will be flash for the kernel okay flash completed back and as you can see nothing is changed you have to just reboot the recovery again so if the camera angle is too off i don't have a tripod my camera is just sitting over some bunch of books and as you can see we are now in the recovery and sorry for the brightness actually it's like very very bright but I will try to show you in any way. So as you can see, it's a direct spoof of uh, clockwork mode recovery. Because <laughs> I just like get a feeling of clockwork mode. Because all the settings are formed like uh, CWM 6.0.4.7. Yes. Or 4.9. I guess. Because it can just flash marshmallow too. I don't know. It's China. <laughs> so just go to the install zip basically you have to just like factory reset before or you do, just don't want to like wait for factory reset to wipe or everything go to the mounts and storage let me just bring the focus back again go for format boot sorry it just hanged off over there format boot data catch and system and you will be done and let me just tell you if you are like uh, continuously flashing other roms you will be noticed that if you use a top recovery it will just took a long 15 to 30 minutes to wipe off your system or data which is not present in this recovery which is also a good thing so uh, one option to stick on go into the install zip search where to download the recovery and uh, just don't use the touch screen because it will not work just use your power buttons and volume button like the old days as I know, I just have it in share it, I guess. Okay, there it is, files. Search down over there. As you can see, I do have the fly moist file over here. And just place the power button and it will be flashed. So pretty basic stuff. Nothing to like creep out or worry. It's safe actually. And reboot the system right away so i have done the actual installation i don't want to just <laughs> do it whole again and stop and to make this quick video so let's just wait for the euphoria to boot as you can see pretty nice boot animation over here sorry for the backlight issue i like I have a cheap budget camera actually not like a great dslr show you a bit closer it reminds me of my old days of the galaxy s4 where i used to use flymoise because actually the flymoise is the very fastest and smoothest rom i have ever tested and i have not tested the antidote benchmark so i will tell you go ahead and flash sorry not flash <laughs> give an antidote benchmark because it will just get you like uh, stock rom use 23k it will just bounce you to the 28k because the file writing system and the other animations and like things are very very fast in this rom let me just control the brightness pretty quick 
and this slider is like a laggy one it doesn't completely work every time so that's a thing to be minded this would be perfect i guess okay or less sorry okay that would be great as you can see you get a like my ui stuff but it's not my ui you do get blur but it's not like dynamic like my ui and it touches the bottom as you can see there is no nav bar which is still in works as you can see there is nav bar but there is no home address and key wow because i guess it's a fly moist it's on like um LTV devices i guess yep they have only one button so basic stuff camera works pretty fine and as you can see the camera just takes the position of nav bar you get the flash over here and actually this camera is very like fast in touch and also pretty clear camera like camera next mode as you can see we do have tones over here which also work absolutely perfect so i back go back again okay <laughs> more options 1080p 8 megapixel you don't get 4k actually <laughs> store location on i don't know why just leave it on and there are actually two calendars i guess this is one as you can see apps open really fast no tweaks at all and one more i guess it should be over here yep as you can see chinese stuff it becomes pretty hard if you don't have a home button and a recent key i will show you work around later on game center let's just check it out only chinese content is available now more angles come on okay weather basic share it flashify that's mine 360 everything is in chinese wow then we should check it out um life what's that oops i don't know and it's not now letting me to exit we just kind of like shame okay wow you do get themes over here and this is a pretty boring port actually right now it would be added later on and you can see clock app actually looks pretty good very fast actually tools download sound recorder good app center every chinese app there is no like standard apps like if you say a asphalt 8 csr racing modern combat 5 not present over here memos okay painter this is actually a good app those are not mine <laughs> security app just like the fly uh, sorry my ui it has the every app like same security app has a like smart manager like thing is like cleaner good and other things like power management you go again do get like a ultra power sim mode in the samsung phones which is good then we's hold up pretty quick phone working as you can see but there is no nav bar so let me just show you how to enable like recent keys as you can see you do get the smart touch toggle over here but you have to do enable it sorry for my bad english i'm just pretty much stressed out right now as you can see tabular style settings over here two taps and there are like live wallpapers no nope. nothing over here theme system wallpapers you do get a funky option over here actually i guess settings set as lock screen no nope. in my galaxy s5 i actually get a water ripple effect which is also awesome i don't know why i don't get over here and just go to the accessibility uh, not the developer options it should be over here smart touch okay smart touch and just pretty much uh, doing mess up so set it on close but 
on the like double tap okay so move it's a hold and slide up just set it on task manager because this option is not available over here i don't know why no it is there sorry so as you can see pretty much it's easy work around till the developer fixes the navbar i will be not using this rom actually right now it's still a buggy as you can see i pretty much end up using the <laughs> back button by my mistake no clear button shit done so pretty much <laughs> you get it it's a flyme os pretty much a chinese based rom and nothing actually but it doesn't have a force close issues like the my ui rom and also it's a 64 bit rom and the touch is pretty working perfect pretty damn perfect actually and the stock rom which is kind of like good that's why the chinese roms are uh, even famous for their stability and chinese bloatware and also the what you say touch response is that any word gallery so if you don't see your folder over here just press the plus button and tap the folders which are not like showing up and hit okay gallery content updated and your all the photos will be saved over here pretty good tip messages okay so guys this was my review for the flyme os on the u euphoria and there will be more videos on this rom in future when the developer like improves more content so guys thanks for watching also peace and don't forget to subscribe